Hello everyone, welcome back to another session in Dentistry and more. Today's topic in prosthodontics is neutral zone concept. So neutral zone concept is nothing but a potential space in the oral cavity where the forces from outside that is from the lips and cheeks and forces from inside that is the tongue muscles will get neutralized. So this should be the potential space for denture fabrication where the muscles action from outside and inside are neutralized or there is no much effect so that we can have a denture with good retention and stability. So let's learn neutral zone in detail. So as per definition given by GPT, neutral zone is a potential space between the lips and cheeks on one side and the tongue on the other. That area or position where the forces between the tongue and cheeks or lips are equal or it get neutralized. Okay, so this is a concept we apply in denture fabrication that it for each individual patient there exists a specific area within the uh, denture where the function of the musculature will not unseat the denture okay so when we create uh, or fabricate a denture our ultimate aim is there should not be any hindrance by the muscles to the denture so we should make our denture in harmonious with the muscle action otherwise what happens the muscle action will dislodge the dislodge the denture or there will be movement of denture that is it is affecting its retention when tongue movement happens there will be dislodgement or lip movements or the cheek movements so though there are many muscles involving in all these areas so the muscle action should be neutralized so that area is known as neutral zone where the muscle action is equally cancelled each other or it is a neutral zone that is a potential space okay so this is a picture of our oral cavity we have maxilla here we have mandible here we have tongue here we have the cheek muscles and the blank space is a potential danger space so this is the area where we are keeping our denture okay so forces from inside that is by the tongue muscles and forces from outside that is by the lip muscles and cheek muscles are neutralized here in the neutral zone so this concept uh, was first introduced by uh, wilfred fish okay wilfred fish in uh, 1931 so he mentioned it as a dead space in oral cavity okay so this dead space later become neutral zone so he was the person he talked about neutral zone for the first time and he mentioned it as dead space so this complete danger it is uh, primarily uh, mechanical devices okay so since they are functioning in the oral cavity they must be uh, in harmony with the normal neuromuscular function so like i said uh, it has many oral functions it has to manage uh, oral functions such as speech mastication uh, swallowing uh, smiling laughing all this involves uh, various actions of tongue, lip, cheeks and floor of the mouth which uh, all together makes very complex and highly uh, individual. So we need to take in care of all these muscles all together to have a good retentive and uh, stability, uh, retentive denture with good stability. Okay, so our aim is to uh, construct a denture in the neutral zone and uh, this denture should be with harmony in uh, the surrounding musculature that is from the lip muscles cheek muscles and with the tongue muscles so this neutral zone approach has been uh, 
used for patients who have highly atrophic mandible uh, trophic mandible then patients with uh, any type of mandibular resection or nerve damage or patients with uh, glossectomy partial glossectomy in all these type of patients this neutral zone approach will be uh, much effective because uh, these uh, patients would be having uh, unfavorable denture bearing areas so we need to use the neutral zone approach for fabrication of dentures in these patients so if the denture is placed in the neutral zone it will be retained more effectively during functions but if we keep uh, our denture outside the neutral zone it will be unstable during the activities of talking swallowing and mastication so that is the concept of a neutral zone where the muscular action is neutral okay so i just want to highlight the concept of neutral zone I'm not going into the details of each step how we should perform so the concept is simple the neutral zone where the forces from outside and inside are get balanced or it is neutral okay we well, we should keep our dentures for better retention and stability so that's all for now the concept of neutral zone hope you understood this concept it is commonly asked as a short note so you can uh, write it in a long essay if it is asked as a complete denture concepts so i'll come up with a new topic in prosthodontics thank you